Sealing the board. We're gonna start by spraying the board off with some air and getting all the dust off of it. And we're gonna pour out our UV Cure polyester resin. Pour it onto the board. We're only mixing up a couple ounces here because all we wanna do is seal the wood grain so it doesn't absorb the resin when we go to laminate. It doesn't take much. We're not having any resin sitting on there. It's just gonna go and soak right into the wood. As you can see, Otis is just working the resin back and forth, filling in any voids that may have popped up during shaping, and making sure to wrap the resin underneath just as if you would wrap the laps of fiberglass cloth. Since it is a UV cure, we have an unlimited working time, so he's making sure to not leave any big drips or large amounts pooled up on the board. Just take it outside and let it cure. laminating the board. I'm going to start by pulling our cloth off and as soon as the cloth hits the board it's going to stick because it is tacky because we did use laminating resin. So you want to make sure you pull it off and set it right on there pretty accurately first time. Pour it on and we're just doing a single layer with no patches this is a wall hanger, so a single layer is more than enough because it is a balsa board, so it's strong anyways. And a standard clear free lap lamination applies. Take the board outside and let it cure. Once the bottom's cured, we're going to flip it over so the laps will cure. Prepping for the deck lamp. Before we laminate, we're going to go ahead and grind our laps. We're using a 50 grit disc. We're using an 8 inch disc on a grinder. And we're just going to be bringing down those laps. As you can see, the laps are pretty wide after we grind them. But not to worry, we just want to get them nice and flush to the deck of the board without damaging the deck. Here's a little trick. We're going to use some styrene. Put it right onto the brush and you'll see the white lap line disappear. It doesn't take much, you don't want to flood it because then you'll have to wait for it to dry off. You just want to get enough on there to just saturate the white laps and it'll make it disappear. Once again, we're gonna mix up another couple ounces and we're gonna seal the deck at this point. We're sealing the deck now just so it wouldn't be sticky when we're taking the board in and out. That way we avoid getting any unnecessary dust or fingerprints on it. We're also going to be pasting our logo on there as well. So we're just going to work the resin back and forth, make sure we get it fully covered. Once it's cured outside, we're going to bring it back in, pull our cloth, and cut our cloth again. We're only doing a single layer on this as well because it is a balsa wall hanger and these are very rigid blanks. And there's really no need to do any more than the single layer of cloth. You want to make sure you're still practicing proper techniques. You know, fully saturating the cloth, working the resin back and forth having a nice even waterfall and pulling the cloth tight. And as we said before, you do have unlimited working time, which is nice. Once the board is cured, I'm going to go ahead and do the hot coat. And it's just a standard hot coat, nothing special. We've covered this before in our other videos, so standard hot coating applies. Gonna go ahead and grind the bottom where the resin from the hot coat wrapped around as well as the lap from the deck lamination. Now we're gonna glass on our thruster fin set. And tape the fins using this method because it puts an equal amount of pressure and we can set the fin at five degree as you see Otis's jig says right there. 
cleans it out. As soon as he gets to where he needs it, he tapes it on the edge and it holds him right in place. Super simple, very effective technique. We're just going to paste the wood fins as well because we don't want to lay up the fins with the fiberglass and have the wood have some unnecessary oils or have it just absorb a lot of the resin. And then we come out with the dry lamb on the fins and that doesn't look good. These are high-end boards so we want to make sure we have everything looking really nice. Just going to pull out some fin rope or fin roving. You could either buy a mat like this and pull it yourself or you can buy it pre-pulled and rolled for yourself. We have it available online. He's going to saturate his fin panels as well as his fiberglass rope. He's going to go ahead and paste the fins once again around the base and around the sides of the fins. This way, make sure you get a nice even coat. If there was any weird spots that absorb more resin than others, which wood does tend to do, or if there was any oily spots which rejected some of the resin. I'm going to go ahead and pull the excess resin out of his fin rope. We do suggest using gloves, however, Otis does not enjoy using gloves and he prefers to use his hands because he can feel the fin row better as well as control the scissors better he says. As you can see he trims it about three quarters of an inch to half an inch on either side. Lays it right at the base. He's pretty quick and accurate with this. He's gonna lay up his pre-cut fin panels. Just gonna get them in place for now. Although it is UV, Otis still works quickly because there's no point in wasting time. He's going to lay up the inside of the fins as well. After he has both of them on, he's going to clean up his little work area where he saturated the, the rope and the fiberglass. Now he's going to come back and make sure that the both sides are laminated to the fin so there's no air bubbles and it just looks really nice and clean. As you can see, there's some air around the edge of the fin, which he's gonna work out eventually, but that is not necessarily a big deal because that is going to get sanded and blended into the foil of the fin anyways. Once he has it the way he wants, he takes it outside. Wanna make sure to trim it before it fully cures. Good thing about the Fiberglass Hawaii UV cure polyester resin is that it doesn't kick immediately like some other ones out on the market. It does give you a nice working time. So he's able to trim all three fins without too much hassle. After that, he's basically just gonna go ahead, throw a hot coat on the bottom, sand the board, and then gloss the board. But as this video said, this is just the lamination of a balsa board, so here's where we end. Thanks for watching.